so this is a, a brief update on what uh, has been going on. Um, first, I, I start with a, a brief overview. So the uh, UN TGM resolution, Global Geodetic Reference Frame for Sustainable Development was adopted in 2015 uh, by the UN General Assembly. And it is the first geo science related resolution. And uh, the main GGRF goals are to establish an authoritative, reliable, highly accurate, and global geospatial referencing infrastructure. And um, also important is to support the collection, integration, and utilization of all other geospatial data, and thus improve Earth observation and positioning. Next slide, please. Uh, the TGRF itself is sustained. Uh, is, is yeah, m many players are involved uh, in in the TGRF. So um, typically, member states build and maintain geodetic infrastructure. Uh, the IAG of is of course um, important for product delivery and uh, for the uh, uh, establishing say, establishing the the services. FIG is, uh, has, has a role to play, for example, in the, in the field of education, training, and capacity development. And um, the United Nations uh, has, since 2015, uh, a role as well. Next slide, please. And uh, to uh, coordinate uh, these efforts on uh, UN level, the UN subcommittee on geodesy was uh, established and they wrote a position paper and a concept paper. Uh, the, in the position paper, the sustainability of the GGRF is discussed. So it describes the current state and future re requirements of the GGRF. It introduces a range of work packages for each of the five focus areas areas that, that were defined, uh, which I will not discuss here, but um, one of them is, for example, geodetic infrastructure, and others, another one is uh, education, training, and capacity building. And in the position paper, a, the potential role of a global geodetic center of excellence is, uh, is described. And this is worked out in more detail in the, in the concept paper on, uh, on the est establishment of a global geodetic center of excellence to GGCE. And it describes potential and envisaged uh, tasks of the GGCE. And they were submitted to the UN GGM in 2020 and uh, then sub subsequently adopted uh, or uh, endorsed. So what uh, should the Global Geodic Center of Excellence do? Um, it's, should help in enhancing global cooperation and coordination, uh, strengthen geodetic infrastructure, uh, to assist member states in line with standards, policies, and conventions. It should support education, training, and capacity building, and improve communication and raise awareness. Next slide, please. Uh, Germany offered to uh, host uh, a a first uh, global geodetic center of excellence. Um, it will, will be located at the UN, UN campus in Bonn in Germany. Uh, it will be financed and supported by BKG. And uh, it will be supported uh, with virtual secondment by Norway. There will be a steering committee, which is a high level uh, committee in, in, in essence, uh, consisting of members of the uh, statistical department, uh, UN, and members from Germany. And I think, importantly, there will also be a technical advisory committee um, where the it is planned that the subcommittee uh, on geodesy is represented, uh, and also IAG, FA, FIG, uh, but also space agencies, for example. Next slide, please. Um, oh yeah, and in total, uh, the, the, there will be a, um, uh, the, the the number of personnel will be something like six six people as a as a start. Um, there have been negotiations going on uh, since autumn 2020. Um, there's an uh, 
an agreement uh, in which the tasks uh, for the center of excellence are described which of course also depends on the on the number of personnel that will be available and there are verbal notes that uh, were to be discussed and it is uh, to agree upon the infrastructure on the un campus in bonn um yeah the process took took uh, longer than at least i expected uh, there were some uh, legal details that need to be discussed and this uh, took a took quite a long time uh, but um, i think one or two weeks ago uh, green light was given and the signing process has started and uh, it is expected to be completed in the coming months um, so I think this is good news and um, I hope uh, we will have a signed contract between UN and Germany in 2022. Um, once the uh, contract has been signed, um, yeah, staff will be recruited and the GCSE can really start. And uh, thereafter, I think uh, one important task will be to develop the participation of other partners in the GDC. Um, I think that's what it was, what I wanted to say in a nutshell. Thank you, Johannes, uh, for the report of the progress of GGCE. Uh, do you have any question or comments to Johannes? Mm, yes, I, I, I would like to know if, uh, if this contract is uh, limited in time or unlimited. Uh, initially, initially we uh, wanted to finance the center for five years, and mm. uh, after these five years, if it is successful and accepted, then of course you can think on on a longer term, uh, but uh, I think it's too early to, to say that uh, that now. And uh, would it be possible for you to get uh, some financial from from the UN, or the BKG has to pay everything? Well, no, the, the the Germany finances the UN, and the UN then establishes the center. That's how it works. So the UN itself does not have any money. Uh, okay, so it it looks like a, a contribution of Germany to the UN. Uh -huh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. thank you.